Oh, 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 Let's go. Oh, right, right. Baby. Here we okay, go. Okay. Ooh, wait, we need to change the text. What can though. I say? Oh. <laughs> Show map of Japan. <laughs> Ay. 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 <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. Go home. Nice. Yeah, we need to, to edit the text though, right? <laughs> In our project, we made a smart mirror that responds to voice commands in order to provide users with useful information. We made this by connecting a Raspberry Pi to a USB microphone and a monitor, and then connecting various sensors to the Raspberry Pi to collect periphery information to control the device. The display component of the mirror was made by overlaying a one-way mirror film over a monitor. The one-way mirror only reflects half of the light that hits it, and the rest goes through the pane. Since the monitor is set to display a black pane, only the white words and images shine through to the user. And since there is more what light on the I user say? side of the mirror, the right reflects off the pane and functions as a mirror. <laughs> the application itself was a web application, which was largely inspired by Evan Cohen's application hosted on GitHub. It was necessary to make a web application because the voice commands used Anyang, a JavaScript speech recognition library. We fed the voice commands through a USB microphone. We soldered together a functional USB microphone, but since the sound quality was too poor, the voice commands wouldn't work, so we had to use a store-bought USB microphone instead. We added a button to turn the mirror on and off. We did this by writing scripts to alternately display a black HTML page and the actual page where the application was hosted. We finally added a PIR sensor to register whether a user was standing in front of the mirror or not. At the ES50 fair, we used this to flash LEDs to draw in people to come and try out the mirror.